<laughs> thank you, thank you. Settle down, settle down. Welcome to another weekly monologue where all sorts of stuff has been happening all week long, believe it or not. Stuff happens every week, we just talk about it. Former talk show host Ricky Lake, her house burned to the ground last week after her couch caught on fire when she was trying to refuel a portable heater. Yeah. According to some reports, flames rose as high as 30 feet in the air, which is about the same height they rose to while watching her show. <laughs> go Ricky, go Ricky, go Ricky, go Ricky, go, go, go. Female pro wrestler China was rushed to the hospital earlier this week for blood alcohol poisoning. Even more shocking found in her system, testosterone poisoning. <laughs> Strong. A Brazilian couple's car exploded after they tried to hide 11 pounds of crack cocaine in the gas tank and then tried to fill it with gas. The car was totaled, but it's already looking for its next hit. <laughs> in a video statement earlier this week, Octomom said that she will do whatever it takes to keep her house as long as she doesn't have to get naked. To which everybody in America replied, so will we. That's disgusting. In Michigan, a duck was found in a local pond with an arrow through its body. Good thing is, it seems to be swimming along just fine, doesn't seem to be suffering at all, but police are on the lookout and have no suspects of who might have shot an arrow through a duck. Locals, on the other hand, have their own suspicions of who might have been responsible for this. Can you shoot ducks? Religious search engines have been popping up all over the world, becoming very popular with religious fanatics everywhere. There's Jugal for Jews, Seek Find for Christians, and Amhalil for Muslims that all these religious fanatics are using every single day. As is their custom, atheists have came out with their own search engine, No God Exists, Living is Pointless, and Nothing Happens When You Die.com. <laughs> A Kentucky man who strangled his wife to death, claiming that excessive caffeine from sodas, energy drinks, and diet pills left him so mentally unstable that he couldn't have knowingly killed her on his own, blaming caffeine for the cause of her death, driving him to kill her. In a related story, we now know why Jesse Spano was- I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm so scared! <laughs> Police in Hampshire, England have came out with a sketch of what a local thief looks like. Yes, this picture's real. Unfortunately, all the locals are laughing because they don't believe anybody really looks like that and nobody has lettuce for hair. All laughing at it. Police say this is no laughing matter though, because still at large, notorious gangster Flapjack Frankie. 